everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In this video, I'm going to talk about our complimentary migration service here at Name Hero. So first off, you know, thank you for choosing Name Hero. We're super happy to have you as a customer. Now, if you're watching this and you have not yet decided, um, hopefully this video will help you make that decision a lot easier. So if you have a website already, an existing hosting provider, and you're wanting to get moved over to Name Hero, you know, first off, I completely understand you know, any hesitation because getting all your files moved over, all your emails moved over in your databases, you know, that can be a challenging and a daunting task. You know, me personally running online businesses for over two decades now, I always cringe when it comes up for like a migration because you know, it's a lot of work to get things completed. So at Name Hero, we certainly recognize this need for our customers, and that's why many years ago we hired a migrations director. And now we have a full migrations team who each and every day, they work on migrating new customer accounts inbound from other providers. So regardless of where your website is currently hosted, um, we can easily get your website moved over to Name Hero. We can get this done without any downtime and we can move over all those files, all those emails, all those databases, and it's a, a pretty straightforward and easy process. But I did wanna film this video, so I kinda of highlight it and explain how we go about this. So right now I'm on our main website, and if you scroll on down here, you can see you know, you've got our different packages, our web hosting, WordPress, and reseller. Um, our VPSs are obviously up here. Um, but our migrations, these are free for all of our products. So regardless of what, um, you know, type of package that you've purchased here at Name Hero, we can get you migrated over. Now, if I click on this migrations page, I'll be brought over to here. And this just highlights a little bit more about this process. And so I'm actually gonna embed this video on this page just to make this a lot easier, you know, if you don't wanna read over all the text and I'll, I'll kind of give you the um, TLDR version, so to speak. So first off, you know, you've got all the benefits of why, you know, to move to Name Hero. You're gonna save money and improve your site speed and an overall better experience. And of course, we've got our proprietary security software to keep your website safe. You know, we use top of the line um, servers here at Name Hero. Everything's deployed in our own data center with our own private cloud our own platform, you know, so when you're moving to Name Hero, you're coming to a platform that's been designed by entrepreneurs for other entrepreneurs and small businesses, individuals, you know, so regardless of the type of website you're moving, uh, trust me, we have experience doing it. We've migrated hundreds of thousands of websites over the years, and so your website will be no different. So first things first, you need to have your account package already purchased and, and signed up. So we've got those package links here, you know, those quick links to our web hosting. Uh, web hosting is our most popular. Um, if you want to buy our WordPress hosting, of course, you know, feel free to do that. Um, reseller hosting, it's a little bit different in terms of migrations because if you're a reseller, you know, you've got multiple accounts that need migrated. Um, but, you know, it's pretty much the same process to get that migration process started. So just follow along in this video if you're a reseller and you can also get your existing reseller account migrated over. Um, most of the migrations we do on a day-to-day -day basis do come from our web hosting packages. Um, and of course, VPS is no different either. You know, if you have a VPS um, package at Name Hero, we can get your website moved over 100% free. And it's a pretty easy and, and painless process. So that's the first thing. You know, you want to have your package selected, purchased, and online. So, you know, make sure you click order now and fill out all information and get things spun up because that has to be completed first. Um, we say in here to transfer your domain to Name Hero. This is requi not required, but it's recommended because it makes it a lot easier, you know, so we can update the name servers for you once the migration's completed. So, you know, that just kind of lets it to be completely hands off. Um, if your domain's at an existing provider, maybe your domain's over at GoDaddy or Namecheap, that's fine. Um, you just have to update those name servers yourself once the migration is completed. So. Um, you know, feel free to transfer in your domain. Uh, we've got more YouTube videos, help desk articles, and of course our team standing by to help you out with that if you'd like, you know, need help getting your domain transferred. But the, at least this first one is required. You have to have a package online and ready to go at Name Hero to get the migration started. The domain transfer is not required, but it's, it's um, recommended. And then finally, is filling out this migrations request form. So you'll see this link here. Um, when you click it, it's going to go to a screen that looks like this. And so I've kind of got this filled out a little bit just to save time in this video from hearing me pound on the keyboard. Uh, but I'll walk you through this form to make this even easier on you. So first off, if you're logged in to our client area, your name and email is going to be populated. Now for this video, I'm just an incognito window, so it's not. 
Um, but you don't have to be. So, you know, if you're not logged in, just feel free to enter your name and email address. Make sure to use the one you signed up with, though, so everything links up properly. Uh, the department, leave that to be migrations. It's default. Priority. So medium, you know, just that's basically all the requests. You know, we pretty much handle these all uh, very quickly anyways. If you do have an urgent need, you know, if your migration um, is extremely urgent, you can mark it as high and our team will do our very best to get that completed for you um, with urgency status. But, you know, pretty much medium, we treat these, um, you know, all with a high priority. Because we understand, you know, you've purchased your new hosting package at Name Hero, you want to get your services live. So we do get this, you know, we do get this uh, completed as quickly as possible. We do have a dedicated support team that only does migrations. So, you know, the, your request is going to be revealed are reviewed very quickly. The subject, I just you know always recommend a brief um, you know summary of what you're trying to do. So in this example, I'm saying my I'm gonna pretend that I got a WordPress blog or whatever set up at RyanGray.com. So I just put I need to migrate Ryan Gray. Um, we do ask you know if you're migrating over multiple websites, you do submit a different um, request form per website. In that way, you know we don't miss anything and we can make sure that you know we get everything over um, properly for you. In the message field, um, you're going to have like these defined fields down here to answer with like all the specifics. But this just lets our migrations team know that, you know, if you have some special circumstances or just kind of an overview of what your expectations are. So in my example, you know, I put, I just bought a WordPress hosting package at Name Hero for RyanGray.com. Um, I put my existing provider site ground and I need to move it over. Can you get this done ideally during the nighttime hours? Um, yeah, thank you. And then also said, you know, hey, I'd like to change PHP version. You know, so if there's any special requests you have, make sure to enter it in here. And of course, our team, when they review this, if they have any questions, they'll write you back and, you know, get clarification on that. But um, as well as, you know, if you need a specific time you're looking to get it migrated, make sure you put that in there so we can get that scheduled accordingly. Our team, we, you know, we do a very good job at prioritizing these, as I've already said. Um, but, you know, if you do have that specific request, make sure you let us know because we're not mind readers. If that's not defined, that's fine. We'll get it done, you know, in, in the top of our queue as quickly as possible anyways. So once that message is entered in, go on down here. You know, if you like to add any screenshots, you know, if you feel like there's anything specific that may help, you know, to explain any of your specifics here, feel free to do that. Um, but down here, here's the real important stuff is, first off, you know, what's the website you're going to migrate over? So, you know, this is the website where you go to it. And that's why I said, you know, one form per website to make sure we get everything over properly. So for my example, it's ryangray.com. Your current host control panel. So if your current host uses cPanel and it works direct admin, you know, feel free to select those. Um, in my example, I said I'm moving from SiteGround, which of course, you know, I'm the owner name hero. Of course, I'm not moving from SiteGround, but if I was, you know, I would go click none or unknown because they have their custom panel. Um, I think SiteGround does have some C panels. So, you know, if you do know it, great. If not, then just put none or unknown. Um, this is the URL or website address that you go to log in to your control panel. So, you know, whatever that may be, you know, what if it's, I don't know what SiteGrounds is off the top of my head. You know, maybe it's like customers.siteground.com. Wherever you go to log in, we need to know because our team needs to be able to access your files. And of course, this is completely secure. You know, this is all encrypted on our server. This information is not passed anywhere. Um, only the migrations team will see this. They'll log in securely behind our VPN. So your information, you know, it's completely safe and it's hidden. Um, within our database, and it's all um, it's all encrypted and stuff. So it's 100% safe to send this over. But of course, we can't move your files if we can't access them. So that's what this is for. This would be the username to log into this panel. So again, you know, if you do have like cPanel on your current provider, this would be your cPanel login. And there's a little example here to explain that. So the username here, and then of course your password. And again, make sure these are correct. You know, I always recommend to customers, you know, go to another window and type this stuff in yourself just to make sure because it's um, every single day we get migrations requests and the, the team will check this first. If this is wrong, this delays everything. You know, they're going to have to write you back. It's going to go to the bottom of the queue because, they, you know, once they write you back and say, hey, I can't get into this information, then they're going to go to the next migration in the queue. So it, gets, it actually delays the migration. So please, please, please make sure this information is entered correctly. You know, test it before you submit it. Your current DNS settings, you know, if this is above your skill level, that's fine. Just put the default or not sure. 
Um, if you're using like an external DNS, such as Cloudflare or maybe GoDaddy or EasyDNS, you know, let us know because that just makes it helpful for us. Of course, our team's going to check this, but this information just helps streamline this process. Because once again, you know, just like with this information here, if you're able to tell our team, you know, hey, I use Cloudflare for my name servers, then they're going to know, well, that's going to require some action on your part once they're finished. So any of this information that can help. Next part is what do you use for email? So um, you know, if you're using like G Suite, Google Apps for your email, um, let us know here because that lets us know, hey, you know, we don't have to migrate over emails. We just have to migrate over those DNS records for your email. So please let us know here if you know. If you're not sure, again, our team, they're going to check all this stuff. Um, but this, the more information you provide them, the easier you make it and the faster we can get this completed for you. Um, should we use a specific version of PHP for your website? So, um, you know, the, if you're not, you're not sure what version you're using, you can just put use the default or not sure. If you specifically know, like, hey, I need to use 7.3 on my website, then let us know here. If you want to use 8 plus, which as of this recording, 8 plus is the uh, default on our systems. But again, you know, if you don't know, just they don't you just use the default because you're not sure. Okay, so now a couple disclaimers here. You know, we don't do .NET uh, hosting or we don't have Postgres um, SQL. So please, you know, just agree to that. Um, this is just legal made us put us on here <laughs> that um, you're aware that um, your name here is not accountable for any lost data. You know, I always recommend don't go canceling your existing providing your providers hosting until you verify. So um, I'll explain that here in a second once I talk about this last option. But you know we can't be held responsible for missing data if you know your your service is lapsing today and you need a migration. That's not enough time. You know you need to allow at least 48 hours to make sure that once we do the migration that everything came over um, as intended. You know nine chances out of ten that's going to happen no problem. But there is that one out of ten chance, and I don't want you to lose your data. So keep your existing web hosting package live until you actually can check, our team quality checks it, and make sure all the files, all your emails, or whatever needs to be moved over is moved over. I can tell you horror stories of customers that you know have already canceled their existing hosting and literally were trying to work against two hours there, and that just leaves too much room for error. So please, 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 you know, make sure that you don't cancel your existing provider's hosting yet. I know it, it does think to have like another you know, host set up, but we do want to make sure all that data is transferred over correctly. So we put that on there to let, you know, it's a, it's a, we can't be held responsible. You know, if the existing host terminates it and we haven't finished the migration, that's a problem. Um, then we have our migrations terms of service here. So you can go read through that in our TOS if you'd like. It's a bunch of uh, really boring stuff, kind of. <laughs> but, you know, feel free to check it out. Um, and then so once you click Submit here, so when you click Submit, this goes into our migrations queue. Um, our migrations manager will get this message, and so they're going to do they're going to do a check first off. You know they're going to go make sure that all this information makes sense. You know they're going to make sure that this lines up with the hosting package you bought. Uh, they're going to go check your existing provider, make sure we can access all this information. They'll do a quick quick pre-flight check. You know they're going to look at your DNS settings. They're going to look at your email settings and make sure that we kind of have a plan mapped out. If they need any other information, they're going to let you know. They will fly back to this request. You're going to see a ticket inside of your Name Hero interface, and you also get an email on all this stuff. So, you know, if they have questions, you can reply back to that email, or you can go into your interface and reply to the ticket and let them know and clarify anything. And they'll let you know, you know, once they're getting started and once the process has been completed. Now, once the migration has completed, we do a third-party quality check. Now, third party, I don't mean like some other company. I mean another team member at Name Hero because we believe a second set of eyes is best. So another tech is going to go check up on the migrations process and they're going to make sure that things look good. They're going to make sure that, you know, the, all your files came over, everything loads properly. And they do this by testing it on their local end. So they'll make sure that, you know, hey, your site's ready to be moved over. You know, that the, the uh, DNS is ready to be changed. So once that quality check's completed, then, you know, you're off to the races. And our team will confirm all that and let you know if there's any final things that need to be left unchecked. Uh, but that's how it works. You know, it's that simple. You know, so just to summarize back over here, uh, 
it starts off with purchasing a package. Now again, it does not matter web hosting, re WordPress, WooCommerce, uh, reseller hosting, VPS hosting. Those that's irrelevant. You just have to have the package set up and online because we can't begin to migrate your stuff unless we do have a new service online. Transferring your domain, you know, this process takes a little bit of time. So while it is recommended, you know, if you if you have a new domain at your provider, um, there is sometimes a 60 day hold on when you can transfer those. So you can still use your existing domain, you know, ASAP. There is, you just have to change the name servers on your existing provider. So again, our team will help you with this. This is not complicated at all. This is not a requirement. It's just recommended to make things a little bit easier. Um, but again, it's, it's not something you have to do today. Um, fill out the migration request form. <clears throat> that is the most important thing with the migration is you have to actually fill out this form, which again, all you do is click this link, brings up this, and then we fill it out just as I explained in all those fields. So once that's done, then this will be handled. There won't be any downtime because things aren't going to, you know, the switch, so to speak, to go live won't be flipped until everything is confirmed, until the quality check's done on our side, and to our team, make sure all your data is over. And then once that's completed, then it's safe to go delete your account at your current provider or cancel the account at your current provider, you know, so you can stop that billing. Now, normally we get these turned around within 24 to 48 hours. Um, sometimes it may take up to 72 hours, depending on how large your current account is. Um, and unfortunately, you know, some providers are quite slow to when we pull data from them. You know, they don't have as powerful servers or as powerful of network uplinks as we have here at Name Hero. So, you know, we do try to get these done within 24 hours, but I've seen, unfortunately, some servers at GoDaddy, for example, it's super slow on moving files. So we will try to get this done as quickly as possible, but sometimes, you know, circumstances like that are outside of our control. But in short, it's 100% free to get your migration completed here with us at Name Hero. All you have to do is sign up for that package, get the migration request form in. Our team of experts are going to get on it. Uh, we are we'll, we will quality check it and make sure it's good, and we will make sure that we address any questions or issues that you have. You know, feel free to ask anything. There's no dumb question out there. I always tell people, like, you know, if there's any hesitation, let us know. That's why we have this big old text field here. So you can put any information that you want our team to be aware of. If there's something specifically, you know, that you need to make sure it's done you know, to your standards, let us know. We'll be more than happy to welcome uh, to work with you on that stuff. So thanks a bunch for watching. We're super excited to have it, your website moved over here to Name Hero. We want to make this process as stress-free and as simple on you. So um, again, if there's any questions or comments, concerns, feel free to let us know. If this video helped you out. You know, we certainly appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'll have some other tips and stuff to you know help you help you make to use help you use the most out of our services here at Name Hero. You know, tips on how to make your website faster, tips on how to make sure you're getting your full money's worth here at Name Hero, and, um, you know, things to make your life easier. You know, we want you to focus on running your business or running your website, not having to worry about the hosting. That's our part. So thanks for watching. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO here at NameHero.com.